Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 10 of Photoshop for Photographers. And in this episode, we're going to take a break from the portrait retouch we were doing to do something that I get a lot of request on how to do. And that is swapping a sky from one image and dropping it into another image. Now we kind of touched on this in previous episodes when we were doing layer masks and blending modes, but to tell you the truth, that isn't the most effective way to swap a sky. Those episodes were demonstrating how to use a layer mask and how different blending modes worked. Um, in this episode, I'm going to show you the most effective way to take an image, or take, I'm sorry, take a sky from an image and drop it into another image. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out in Lightroom because I get a lot of emails too where people ask me, they don't know how to get their images from Lightroom into Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to do that from the get-go right here. So what we have, we have these two images. I showed you this one. This is the one where we want a different sky in it. And this is an image here where I kind of like the sky. So I'm going to take the sky out of this image and I'm going to put it in this image. Now they're fully processed in Lightroom. I'm all done with Lightroom. And to get them over into Photoshop, what you do is you highlight both of them. Now I'm if you look down here in the thumbnails at the bottom, I'm highlighted on the one with the pond. Now I'm just going to hold the command key because I have a Mac. If you have a PC, it's the control key and click on the second one. You'll see they're both selected. Right click on any of them, either of the images, and you'll see this menu pops up. Go up to edit in. And then at the very bottom, it's open as layers in Photoshop. Now, when I do this, I have a glitch in my recording software that um, it takes, you know, maybe 10 seconds on my machine to move them over into Photoshop, but it kind of skips, and that's the glitch on my recording software. So you'll see kind of a skip. I'm not going to talk after I do this because my voice will skip too. So I'm just going to click on Open as layers in Photoshop and then you'll see Photoshop open. Okay, we're in Photoshop now. We have both of the images opened as layers in Photoshop. And we'd like them positioned as layers just like this. We want the layer with the clouds on top of the layer with the uh, pond in it. So if yours aren't lined up that way, uh, just drag them. So just like as easy as that. So we want the sky, the good sky on the top as the top layer. For now, we're going to turn it off. So hit this eyeball right here, and you could turn it off, and we could see the image of the pond. Click on that layer so it's active. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the click quick selection tool. That's uh, W is the fast key or the quick key to get to that, to the quick selection tool. And remember, there's um, tool tools in this palette. There's the magic wand tool and the quick selection tool. We want the top one, the quick selection tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the bad sky. So we're just going to go right across and do a real quick selection of the sky. Now as you could see, I'm going to zoom in a little. Um, as you could see, now to zoom in I hit command plus. If you have PC it's control plus. And to drag it around, hold the space bar in and you'll turn into a little hand there and you could drag. So hold the space bar in when you do that. Now you can see it didn't make a great selection around the trees, but that's to be expected. So I'm going to zoom back out, hit Command-0 or Control-0. And what we're going to do is Refine Edge. So go up here and hit this button right here, Refine Edge. And um, what we're going to do now is right away, we're just going to go and bring this radius uh, slider and just bring it up a little. I, some people really go crazy with this. I found you don't have to. Just bring it up like around five pixels. And then we're going to use this brush tool, this edge detection brush tool. So just click on that and you can see you have a little brush there. I'm going to make it bigger by using my right bracket key to make it a little bigger. The left bracket key makes it smaller. If you have a mouse and it has a center wheel, you could use the center wheel on your mouse and it will make it larger and smaller. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of paint here and we're going to paint everywhere we need 
Photoshop, what we're, this does, this tells Photoshop to take a closer look here. We want you to, we don't like your selection here, and we want you to look a little closer at what you did. And we're going to move that out of the way, and we're going to paint better down in here, like that. Now you could see even now it's made a better selection. You could see it's more refined, and that's what the refine edge does. Okay, so we just set that to five pixels or so. We uh, used the edge detection brush and painted on there. We want the output to selection, and we're just going to click OK. And it's going to take a second, and you can see now the um, selection is much more detailed in those areas. So we're all done with the selection. Go up to the layer up top, click on it, and make it active. So now you can see the selection is across the sky now. Just simply go down here to the layer mask icon, which is at the bottom of the right panel, and that's the rectangle with the circle in the middle, and simply click on it, and you'll see magically we have a new sky in the image. Now we're not completely done yet. A um, couple things I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to zoom in again by hitting Command Plus. Again, it's Control Plus if you have a PC. I'm going to drag by holding the space bar down and drag over this way. And you can see these trees look kind of a little funky over here. And what we're going to do, we're going to improve that. We're going to make those look a little more realistic in the in the in front of the sky. So what I want you to do is click on the layer mask or the right now we have the mask. Um, active. Just go over here and make the actual image active of the clouds. So we're clicked on the cloud layer. We're going to go down here where it says effects. We're going to, little menu will pop up and go to outer glow. Now when I do this it's going to look ridiculous, right? Outer glow and you can see it put this kind of weird outer glow on there. But that's okay. The blend mode is screen. We're going to change that to multiply then watch it. And you can see it looks a lot more realistic. Now, if it's still, sometimes I don't have it here, but sometimes you get a little white glow around there too. And if you do have that, or if you want to try this, click on this color swatch right here. And you can see this color picker comes up. What we're going to do is kind of ignore that color picker. And when we're on the image, you can see we have an eyedropper. Just click on the branches, and you can see how much fuller it looks. Hopefully, you saw that in the video. We're going to click OK, and we're going to click OK. We're going to zoom back out by hitting Command-0. And you can see now it looks a lot more realistic. A lot more, the trees are a lot fuller, it looks a lot better. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is, suppose you don't like exactly how the sky is positioned in the image and you want to move the sky around. And that's real easy to do too. So what we're going to do is you can see right now we have the image of the sky and it's locked. You can see that chain there. It's locked to the mask. We're going to unlock it by simply clicking on that like chain and you can see it's unlocked now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to trans uh, we're going to go into free transform and to um, to uh, start that, hit Command T if you have a Mac, or Control T if you have a PC. And you can see these handles popped up. Now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to hit uh, Command minus. Again, if you have a Mac, or if you have a PC, it's Control minus. And you can see we can see all these handles here. Now, first of all, I would like these clouds kind of like are triangular, but I'd like them more to the right. So I'm just going to drag everything to the right, like that. Now you can see it left clouds out over here. That's okay. Grab this handle here and we're going to stretch them out. And we're going to move them a little more maybe and stretch them out a little more. And um, if you wanted to move it up or down, you could do that too. You could hold the, move the whole image. Now you can see we're seeing the water below. We don't want to do that. We don't want to see that water. So maybe we'll drag this down and move it up, something like that. That looks pretty good. Yeah, something like that. When you're done with your trans transforming the image, there's a little checkbox up here. Hit the checkbox, and then you're done. So we're going to hit Command-0, Control-0 if you have a PC. And now I'm happy with the cloud swap, or the sky swap we did uh, in the image. Now, another question I get is how to get it back into Lightroom. It's real easy. Just go to, on my Mac, it's Photoshop, Quit Photoshop. If you have a PC, it's File 
quit Photoshop and save it. We want to save it. Click, quick, click save. Now, as you can see, it's saving it down here. And when it's done saving it, we're back in Lightroom. The image right in Lightroom. So there's the original clouds. There is the sky without the clouds. And there's our hybrid image with the clouds. Uh, one thing I want to add real quick is to pull this off, you need a sky that is similar in lighting to your scene. If I had a sunset and I was putting it in this, it wouldn't look realistic because the sunsets are yellows and oranges and those light, that type of light isn't reflected in the scene. So that wouldn't look right. You have to use a sky that is in close color and light to the sky that you're replacing. So make sure you do that and you should be all set. It'll work out real well. If you have any questions, email me, Tony at AnthonyMorganti.com. It's going to take me a while to answer. I have so many emails I'm behind in, but I'm glad to answer your questions. Just give me some time. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really uh, like that. Visit my website, AnthonyMorganti.com. i got all kinds of photography stuff over there. If you guys have any, have any ideas on videos you'd like me to make, uh, email me and let me know. I'll do my best to do it. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.